Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. It flew by as it always does and now it's back to reality. So yes, I had a Thursday and Friday as well off this week and then I'm back properly on Monday off for New Year's Day and then back properly for the rest of the week. So uh, yes, this is the first year I have not had to come in for the last couple of days of the week. Um, it is absolutely pointless. There's no one there and it's just a waste of time. So my boss isn't going to be back until the day after New Year's Day anyway. So I'm um, just in, enjoying some downtime. I came back from uh, the family and seeing my boyfriend and his family. Uh, came back yesterday so uh, you might hear the washing machine going. I have washing on. I have a pile of ironing to do because I was away for three or four days and it's all got to be done so it's all it's all slowly but surely getting sorted out now so um yes so back to normality um but uh i do have a couple of purchases to show you so that's good i'm going to do a separate video guys because it's going to be too long of what i got for christmas um nothing like designer or anything like that oh well there's one designer thing but it's quite small um my boyfriend would not uh, touch designer uh, for me uh, it's just too much money and if I wanted something about that badly I have my own money so I know not to ever go down that road so um but yes these are purchases that I have made um so uh, let's get started in the first one which actually arrived the day before I was off for Christmas so that was last Friday because then we had Monday Tuesday and Wednesday off so it came on Friday and I'd already left the office because you can leave early on the last day before we're off for Christmas and then I was tracking the package it was really funny I was tracking the package and it was counting down to my number I, it was DHL parcels and then the stop before mine the tracking just disappeared I tried on my phone I tried it on um, my, com my computer at work and it all said it just didn't come up at all and I thought right maybe the driver's doing a half day maybe he's not working the full day and then I just gave up and I thought right I'll get it after Christmas and then as I was walking to the train uh, I got a message saying that it had arrived so I walked back to work which takes about another 15 minutes back but I really wanted this bag before Christmas and I've been rocking it all through the Christmas period so this is from the guest website and this is the Florence crossbody and I've told you guys before that I really love sorry I've got the TV on uh, that I really love that uh, this kind of uh, cool like charcoal design that they have with the monogram because it um, it, it reminds me so much of the Louis Vuitton men's line with the grey against the uh, dark grey or the light grey against dark grey. Uh, this is slightly darker. The monograms, as you can see there, are um, are black rather than grey. So, uh, but my brother saw this on Boxing Day and he really liked this because he knows a lot of my handbags are quite loud. And he liked the fact that this was more subtle. So if you can see there, it does look like silver in the camera, but it's kind of like that um, lighter gold, the champagne gold. Um, so it's kind of like a mix and match between. Um, but you could get this, and then you could get the light, light pink color. And I got this off the guest website. I tried to the boutique a few times in Belfast. They just were getting rid of so many uh, bags and uh, they just didn't have anything like this so I did try because I'd love to buy straight from the boutique again it's always such a nice experience um, but uh, I did get this from the guest website originally 79 down to 47 pounds 50 because it was in the winter sale and then the pink one is down to I think 37 so I'm guessing it's because it's a lighter color and it's not the season to be rocking lighter colors now but what i really liked about it was well obviously the the dark monogram and also the strap which is like a guitar strap so i think this looks really cool now the only thing i did notice because i did re I, I as you guys know i researched my bags before i buy them this is not an adjustable strap and to wear a crossbody um i will put in a mod shot now of what it looks like crossbody i'll put that in now for you So that's this crossbody. It is quite short. I would prefer it when it's crossbody to be a bit longer. You can also wear it on the one strap, but I'm constantly having to put it back on my shoulder. So I do end up wearing this crossbody. But just for reference, I'll show you what this looks like just with uh, using it as a one strap. So there you go. So that's kind of like the, on the one strap. I'd love that for it to sit there when I wear a crossbody. But... Um, it is extremely comfortable because it's such a nice big thick strap 
and I just like the fact it's a little different. Um, it doesn't have the, the chains or just a normal, you know, black uh, standard strap. Um, so, and the fact it was on sale, which is good. So this said, uh, the opening is very much like Louis Vuitton S locks. So you just push this button and it clicks open. There's no protector, unfortunately, so I have to be very careful because it, it, this is going to scuff up with time, obviously, but um, I got used to just pushing them to, together and then closing it that way. So, But I'm sure it'll, it'll scratch with time, but sure, that's just normal wear and tear. And then the inside here, so it is quite small, and again, I've kind of worked out it would be a little restrictive for work, um, so... Uh, that was a little disappointing that it was as small. It's definitely not as small as the Mia crossbody, which can't even fit my phone. I can fit my phone in here, but uh, definitely it is because of the curve. If you guys see, you're really only getting that much of a width to put your items before that you have to start putting them into this curve here. So again, never thought of that, but um, it worked out really well over Christmas because I only had a few cards. So I put the cards in here, my tiny uh, uh, pink uh, purse, that I use for the Mia crossbody I put in here and then there is a zip compartment as well so that gives you a bit more space but it is definitely um I could use it for work but it would be very restrictive so um but it is a beautiful bag and I just love that uh I love that black against the grey so uh, I will put a link um, to the bag uh, in the description box below and if you guys are interested I'll also include a picture now of what the um, pink version of that looks like. It is beautiful but I opted for this uh, but if you guys are interested in the pink version it is more than 50% off now so I would act now um, but I'll put in a picture of the pink version now for you. Okay, so there we go. So that's bag number one. I'm just going to pause this for a second, guys, because I've just got to turn something off here. I'll be back in one second. One second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, right, so um, that was the first bag, and also that one did come with a dust bag, a very teeny tiny uh, dust bag. This I would have loved to have been provided with the Mia crossbody. Even though it's a small bag, that would have been really cute because I would have just fit in there perfectly. I actually think that bag might be a bit too big for this, but... I can always mix and match my dust bags. I've got so many guest bags, so but it does come with a little cute tiny dust bag. So that is number one. This one I got today, it was delivered or they tried to deliver on Christmas Eve. I wasn't here and I managed to get down to the sorting office today to pick it up. And this I can definitely use for work. And this is why I kind of wanted this because it would be big enough to use for work. So, oh, hang on. So here we go, guys. Isn't she a beauty? I have no idea what this model number is. This is a past season bag. I just saw it on eBay and uh, brand new. Uh, I took out all the stuffing and all the metal was covered in the protective uh, plastic earlier. So it was like a, a, a late Christmas present. And what I love about this, um, it definitely reminds me of the Speedy Bandolier 30. Uh, it is quite a roomy bag. I put my speedy 30 up against it and it's very very similar just the sides are more triangular rather than a circle and what i love is it has feet on the bottom as well and i really wanted this because i love this print so as i was telling you this print always reminds me of the louis vuitton men's line the eclipse monogram and these two are very similar this is exactly the same print as the mia crossbody and this is slightly different if you see see there that they it's kind of like a black monogram against really dark gray on this and then this is like a lighter gray against uh lighter gray against the gray <laughs> if that makes any sense a lot of grays this is the darkest gray and then this is a lighter gray with even a lighter gray on top of it so actually in the photograph even putting them together you nearly think this is blue so i might be completely mad i don't know maybe a a black against the lighter black and a grey against the lighter grey. Put it maybe I'll call it that. So but yes I love the Mia crossbody that uh the whole reason I bought that bag, even though I can only use it at weekends. But this one I saw and I was like I need this because I can use this for work and I can put everything in it. And uh, it's so it's such a weird bag if that makes sense. I'll tell you why. You can hold it as like a little satchel, or sorry, as a little like um, hand carry. Then you can put the straps on it, crossbody. 
but then to open it you have to open this and then unzip it and if the handles are in the way i was using this earlier to go shopping that can be a little bit of a nuisance but i would think i would just leave that open and keep the, the strap like that um for some reason the zips on the side have snap button closures but this is all sewed in and attached so it's not like you can take these out both on both sides it's very weird um but i love that it's like a little bag of discovery it's it's really cute and this charm did come with it so this is a little guest charm um which is a really nice feature because the key the key rings are even like 20 pounds themselves so that's nice it's a little heart and i love hearts as well so in the photographs it did look silver again it's like that champagne gold hardware it's not silver um but it's not a real big like gold in your face so i really like that i love these little straps kind of makes it look really like a little like kind of little like satchel and then inside is so roomy there is so much room this will be perfect for work i have like i just threw some stuff in there today but as you can see there are there is so much more room so we have the two card compartments um another open compartment a zip compartment here on the side really big and roomy and then all the space in the middle so like i say i have no idea what the name of it is um this seller sells a lot of new past season bags i think i got this for about 75 so i'm really happy because this print is quite hard to find now on the guest website the only one I can't find really is the Mia crossbody and the wallet. This kind of style is definitely not on it anymore. So as you can see, it's like, this is what annoys me though, because on the Alma BB on like Louis Vuitton, there ha there's like an, an extra little hook above the, um, the handles here. So it doesn't pull the handle like that. So it looks weird, you know, like I kind of I have to fix it there. So, um, but guests don't do that with their bags so what I've tried is when I'm wearing a crossbody then I keep the handles up so it doesn't look as uh, messy so um, I will include a mod shot here for you guys um, of me wearing this uh, crossbody I will insert that uh, now okay and then I will insert it as a hand carry now there you go guys a lot of uh, versatility with this bag and yes it does remind me a lot of a speedy bandolier just kind of wish that for this for the strap handles uh there was like like it is in the speedy bandolier uh of Louis, or for, from louis vuitton that they would have the little metal clips on the side because i don't like putting them on the handles here because it kind of messes it up when you are trying to wear it with the strap um but it is a gorgeous bag and I'm very glad that I've managed to get a bag I can use every day um, for work. And it's the same as the other bag there. It's just a, the little S lock. And then there you go. And then you just you lift it and then there's a zip. So a lot of security there. Might be a bit fiddly when you're trying to get in and out of it. But I'll probably leave the zip open. Um, but yeah, there you go. And like I said, it comes with a little charm. So. So there we go guys, there's my two guest purchases. Uh, it also came with a bigger dust bag then. So the girl took really good care of it, who sold it to me. So uh, yes guys, that is my, um, all my handbags now done for the year. There really is absolutely nothing on my radar anymore. The last thing I was looking for was the guest dark grey monogram, which I now have and the Florence crossbody was just something that I saw before I saw that one and I just thought it was really gorgeous with that the dark monogram so and they're versatile as well one you know one is completely different than the other but I yeah I really like guest handbags as you guys know and there really is nothing I've seen uh, in the in the boutique or online so that is me I think for a while I'm going to sell a few more bags I think I'm going to sell my Louis Vuitton Neverfull replica in Damira Ben. Um, just I prefer my guess, uh, my guess uh, tote more, and it's very similar looking. Uh, I think I'm going to sell my replica Alma BB. I haven't reached that for a while. 
and then I'll have to think of something else. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think of bags that I'm not reaching for anymore. And it's taking up space and I need the space for every new one that I'm bringing in. Something has to go, as you guys know. So um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll do another video on what I got for Christmas later on. Um, I hope you all had, a, like I said, a lovely Christmas Boxing Day. Um, if you're back at work, I will be very soon. So I feel your pain. But it was nice having that time off and it's really nice to be home again. So I um, hope you guys are all relaxing and enjoying uh, the upcoming weekend before reality hits again. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.